Investing, risk, return, and liquidity by Giselle, Gunther, and Zach. With a happy face. Step one, put and take account. Usually this is the first step people do. It's all about checking accounts and saving up your money. Not really much more to that step. Step two, beginning to invest. You're not likely to lose, lose money at this point, which means lower rate of return on these investments. And these investments are usually things like bonds and savings funds and whatnot. Step three, systematic investing. Um, this is usually in stocks, mutual funds, and annuities, things like that. Goals of this step is for like long range. You know, you're going to see the best return after about 20 years. Earning potential is also higher here. Strategic investing. They only come after you've put up a stable put and take account and beginning in safe beginning investments in established systematic investing plans. Goals in this age are medium term, 5 to 10 years, stocks and bonds mostly. Managing your portfolio with an eye on balancing out losses and gains in different commodities. So this is speculative investing. Some people really n never get to this step, but it's mostly high risk, high reward, such as gold or uh, just wise investing. Low risk investing is usually just saving accounts, checking accounts with low return and high liquidity, meaning that you can get your money quicker, faster. High risk investing, usually like stocks, real estates, and whatnot, with a lot of high return, but liquidity. Low liquidity. Moderate risk investments, with certificates of deposits, government saving bonds, and about medium everything.